Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Statistica Hub. So in this video lecture, we are going to start with the topic uh, determinant. Determinant, okay. So let's just see that how do we find out the determinant of a matrix, okay. So there is a matrix A, which is like A11, a12 to A1n and going on to An1, An2 to Ann. Okay. So this is a corresponding matrix that we have and we need to find the determinant of it. Okay. Now this is a matrix of order n. Okay. And there are n square elements in it. Right. There are n square elements arranged here. Okay. Now in this, if I'll expand this determinant, then there would be, uh, you can say in the expansions of the determinant, there will be factorial n terms in expansion. Factorial n terms in expansions where half terms would be positive and the other half terms would be negative. Okay. There would be factorial n terms in expansion. Okay, now there are some properties for the determinant. Properties, let's just see the properties of the determinant, which is the first one is that the determinant of the matrix A is equal to the determinant of the transpose of the matrix. Okay, the second property is that if A has two identical rows, if the matrix A has two identical rows or you can say columns then determinant of a would be equals to zero okay we will see that how is this happened uh, we will see that by doing an example of it let's just see the properties now and the third property is that if a is a triangular Okay, if A is a triangular like matrix, which is like A has zero above or below the diagonal, above or below the diagonal, then, then at this case, we have determinant of A is equals to the product of diagonal elements, product of diagonal elements, okay? Now, the fourth property is that, let's just write it on the next page, okay. So, my fourth property is that let B is the matrix which is obtained by A by elementary transformations, okay, elementary transformation. It can be either row transformation, it can be either column transformation, okay. So, it is saying that if two rows, if two rows or columns of A were interchanged, were interchanged, then the determinant of B would be equals to minus determinant of A. Okay, so what is this? We have a matrix A and uh, we are interchanging any two row or any two columns in uh, A, then we are getting our matrix B. Okay, then we are saying that the determinant of that matrix B would be equal to minus of determinant of A. Okay, okay, and also that if a row or column of A were multiplied by a scalar multiplied by a scalar then the determinant of b would be equals to k determinant of a okay so what is it saying it is saying that let's say we have this matrix a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c2 c3 this is the matrix we have and then in the first case if we interchange any two rows that is let's say if i am doing r1 
with R3. Then what will be the resultant matrix? That would be C1, C2, C3, B1, B2, B3, okay? And A1, A2, A3, okay? So let's say this is my matrix A, this is my matrix B, then the determinant of this matrix B would be equal to minus of the determinant of A, okay? Now, similarly, if we are multiplying in this, there is this is my matrix A, and if I multiply any row or column by a scalar, let's say if I'm multiplying it by a K, this column by K, then after multiplying it by K, this would be equal to, the determinant of A would be equal to, Okay, sorry. So uh, I have this matrix A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. Okay. And we are multiplying it by K. Okay. We are multiplying it by K. Then what will be the, after multiplying, it would be, the new matrix would be KA1, KA2, KA3. Okay. And A2, A3, B3, uh, C2. Okay. This is B1, this is C1, okay? And this is A3, B3, C3, okay? So this is my matrix A and this is the matrix V which we got after multiplying K to, uh, to, to the first column. So at this time, we are saying that the determinant of this matrix B would be equal to K into determinant of A. Okay, we just need to multiply that scalar by the determinant of A, then we would get our corresponding result. Okay, and there is one more property, which is determinant of the multiplication of the two matrices is equal to the their in the multiplication of their individual determinant. That is, determinant of AB would be equal to determinant of A into determinant of B. Okay. Okay, now we will see minors and cofactors okay so what are minors and cofactors okay so for finding out the minors i am just considering a simple matrix of let's say a1 1 a1 2 a1 3 uh, a2 1 a2 2 a3 3 a2 3 sorry and a3 1 a3 2 a3 3 Okay, now I need to find the determinant for this one. And firstly, am I, uh, what am I doing is I am finding the minors for it. So I am finding the minors for M11, that is for this one, for this position. So if we are finding for the minor for this one, then we will hide this row, this column and this row and the resulting elements, that is, a22, A23, A32, A33. Okay, so this would be my, we will take out the determinant of the remaining part. This is the minor for uh, A11. A11, that is minor for 11. Similarly, you can find out the minor for 12, that is hide out the uh, this vector, not vector. Hide out this row and this column then you will get a21 a23 and a31 a33 okay just take out the determinant of this and then you will get the minors for uh one two position okay so you can find out the minors with the help of it okay so what is the determinant the determinant let's say this is my matrix a then my determinant of a would be equal to summation I going from 1 to 3 minus 1 I plus J A I J M I J where I and J is equal to 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Understood? That's how we will find the determinant of A. Now these are the minors. What are the cofactors? Okay. Let's say we are denoting cofactor by A I J for each position, okay? So my cofactor would be equals to minus one I plus J M I J, okay? So this is my cofactor terms. So according to the minors, 
if we multiply with them minus one power i plus j, then we will get our cofactor. Okay, then if uh, this is my cofactor, so I can write this term minus one i plus j, i m of i plus j like this, m of i j like this. That the determinant of a would be equal to summation i going from one to three, a i j and a i j. Okay. So this would be my corresponding determinant at that time in terms of cofactor, and this was in the terms of minors. Okay, these are the same things. You just need to find the cofactors and the uh, minors and the cofactors of the determinant, and then you will get your answer. Okay, so if you, I will see it in this way that A is some matrix which is two zero one three minus four minus one minus four. Two and five. Okay. Now, if I need to find the cofactors for it, let's say for a one one. Okay. So what will I do? Minus one of i plus j. That is one plus one. That will be two. And the and I will multiply this with the minor of a one one. The minor of a one one would be I will add this one and this one. That would be minus four two minus one five's determinant. That is equal to uh minus 20 plus 2 that is equals to uh minus 18 okay because this would be this minus this okay if we'll do this minus this, that means minus 4 into 5 minus 2 into minus 1 okay that would be equals to this similarly i can find it for a12 okay a12 for that it would be equal to minus 1 of 2 plus 1 that would be 3 i plus j and the determinant of just hide out this one row also okay here we will hide out okay this portion okay we are finding for a12 a12 is this position so we will hide out this and we will take the minor of a12 that is 0 1 2 5 that is equals to Minus 1 power 3 is minus 1 and the determinant of this would be 0 minus 2 into 1 is 2 that is equals to 2. Okay. And what is the minor for A13? For that it would be minus 1 1 plus 3 that is 4 and the minor for the 1 3 position that is 0 1 minus 4 minus 1 that is equals to 4. Okay. So we have pointed out the minors for a11, a12, a13. Okay. Sorry, these are not the minors, these are the cofactors. Cofactors. We have pointed out the cofactors for them. Okay. Now, what is adjoint? If I will talk about adjoint, what is adjoint? So if there is a matrix A and we have A, I, J, some matrix, the elements in them, then the adjoint of A. The adjoint of A is basically the transpose of matrix of cofactors of A. Okay, so adjoint of A would be equal to cofactor matrix. This is my cofactor matrix. If I take out the transpose of it, then that would be my adjoint. Okay, so for that we have finded out the minor for let's say this is my uh, cofactor matrix. We have found it out, it out for a11, a12, and a13. We have found out the cofactors of a11, a12, and a13. Similarly, you will find that for uh, a21, a22, a23, and a31, a32, a33. And then if you will make a transpose of this cofactor matrix, that would be equal to my adjoint of A. Okay. This would be equal to the adjoint of A. Got it? I hope you got it. Okay. So similarly, if we want to find the determinant of it, determinant of this matrix, what would I say? That in the terms of cofactors, I can find the determinant of A that is equals to summation a i j into a i j i have this a i j and i also know what is my a i j that is the values corresponding to these cofactors values in the matrix okay 
So this is for j equal to one, two, three, because I have maximum three rows and three columns matrix here. Okay. So it would be two into into what is the co this is a one one position, right? So a one one into the cofactor of it, which is minus eighteen plus second position three three into the cofactor of it, which is two plus minus four into the cofactor of it, which is four. Okay, you will just solve it and you will get your determinant for that. Okay, understood. Okay, now there is an important note point in the terms of cofactor, which is that a into a joint of a is equals to a joint of a into a, and that is equals to determinant of a into identity. Okay, so from this we can also find the a inverse that is equals to a inverse equals to. One upon determinant of a into a joint of a, okay. One upon determinant of a into a joint of a. Got it? Okay. Now see it here. There are some properties for the adjoint too. That the adjoint of a transpose and adjoint of a's transpose is equal. Okay. And adjoint of C A is equal to C's power n minus one into adjoint of A. Okay, this is important. And the third is that the adjoint of the matrix multiplication of two matrices is equal to adjoint of B into adjoint of A. Okay. Okay. Now there is one more thing. That if I take out the determinant in this portion, that is, I have a into adjoint of a, which is equals to determinant of a into identity. Okay. Now, if we take a determinant of this whole equation, we will got we will get determinant of a, determinant of adjoint of a, adjoint of a, and this is equals to this is what this is the when uh. This is identity. Identity is my like one zero zero going on to zero, and similarly going on to one. Okay, because this is n cross n. Now we are multiplying determinant a in it, so it would be like determinant of a, determinant of a, and going on all the diagonal elements would be determinant of a. Okay, and the others are zero. So I can write it like after taking the determinant, this would be determinant of a's power n. Okay. So from this we can say that the determinant of adjoint of A is equal to by dividing it we got determinant of A's power n minus one. Okay, so the determinant of adjoint of A is equal to determinant of A's power n minus one. Okay, and if we have determinant of lambda A, then it would be equals to Lambda's power n into determinant of a. Okay, that is in the first case which we have told before, uh, discussed before. In that case, we are multiplying a particular column or a particular row. Then it would be a single scalar k. Okay, we we would take out a single uh, scalar. But it is saying that it is lambda a. That means each and every column. Uh, is multiplying with this scalar, then at that time, at that time, it would be lambda's power n into determinant of a. Okay. Okay. So there is one more thing, which is if you talk about the homogeneous equation, the system of homogeneous equation, which we know that this is a x equals to zero. Okay. Now this system has a non-zero solution. I'm just telling you uh, some result, which is this system has a non-zero solution. Non-zero solution, if and only if there is a condition when, if and only if determinant of a is equals to zero. You can also check it uh, with the help of homogeneous equation, and I have also discussed in the lecture series of uh, system of linear equations. Okay. Now let's see some other things in the uh, determinant. That when we are solving the determinant, there are two special cases which comes. That is the first one is that if in a determinant 
each element in any row or column consists of sum of two number terms. That is, let's say this is the column which contains sum of two numbers like this. A21 plus B21 and A31 plus B31. And the others are like single terms. A22, A32, uh, A13, A23, A33. Okay, so if in a set, each element in a row or either column is uh, consists of sum of two numbers, then the determinant can be expressed as the sum of two set uh, determinant of same order. Like I can represent this determinant into the format of A11, A21, A31, A12, A22, A32, like A13, A23, a33 plus b11 b21 b31 b1 uh, sorry a12 a22 a32 and a13 a23 a33 okay so we have partitioned this uh, not partitioned we have di uh, distributed this determinant into two parts we can do this in determinant okay so um, by this property, let's just try to understand this with a problem. Let's say this, I have this, uh, I want to find the uh, determinant of this problem, which is 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, A, B, C, D, and uh, A cube plus B, C, D, B uh, cube plus C, D, A, C cube plus D, A, B, and D cube plus A, B, C. Okay. We need to find the determinant of this. So for finding the determinant of this, the uh, for finding the determinant directly by putting the values and applying the formula, like finding the minors and cofactors would be quite complicated here. Okay, so we will just do the simple calculations in, in it. Firstly, we will uh, write this determinant into two determinants. That is one, 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 A, B, C, D, A cube, B cube, c cube and d cube plus 1 1 1 1 a b c d and b c d c d a d a b and a b c okay now let's just consider that this is my delta 1 and this is my delta 2 okay just give it there give them any number now take this delta 2 and we will try to solve this first okay delta 2 which is my what is delta 2? 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, we need to write it again. A, B, C, D. A square, B square, C square, D square. B, C, D. C, D, A. D, A, B and A, B, C. Okay. Now, let's just do some transformations in it. Okay. We will first multiply R1, R2, R3, R4 by a b c d respectively respectively okay so if we will multiply each row by a b c d okay not a b c d that is multiplying r1 by a multiplying r2 by b multiplying r3 by c multiplying r4 by d that is in r1 we are applying a into r1 and on r2 we are applying b into r2 like this Okay, for the other parts too. So it would be equal to a, a square, a cube, a, b, c, d, right? And this would be b, b square, b cube, a, b, c, d, c, c square, c cube, a, b, c, d, and uh, d, d square, d cube, a, b, c, d, okay? And we have multiplied each and every part by it. Okay, so these are not the transformations. So we ha also have to divide it. Okay, we have multiplied uh, the first row by A. So we have divided also. So it would be equivalent. Okay, now we have multiplied second row by B and third row by C and fourth row by D. So we have also divided this part here. Okay, so the determinant would not uh, vary. Okay. Okay, so now 1 upon A, B, C, D. Now you can see that this column has all elements as A, B, C, D. So I can take that out. 
so that will be equals to a b c d a b c d uh, all the elements would be same a square b square c square d square a cube b cube c cube d cube and this is 1 1 1 1 okay now what is our uh, what is our delta 1 which is 1 1 1 1 a b c d a cube b cube c cube d cube this is our delta 1 okay now okay a cube b cube c cube d cube okay i forgot to write this square b square there is another term in between this is c square d square c square d square okay now and there is another row in this i forgot to write this yes okay so this is my delta one this is my delta two that won't change much because i do the calculations with the original matrix okay that is this one okay so we have uh the rows and the columns in like ones and cubes and squares and the singles similarly if you can see, see that this is ones uh, singles, squares, and cubes column with respect to A, B, C, D. Okay, so if I do some interchange in uh, interchanges in it, so that would be like we have uh, that would be like this that R one. Let's say this is interchanged with this part. Okay, similarly this will go to this part. Okay, A cube is in this uh, A cube would go to this part. So we have to make three inter uh, interchanges of the columns. So that we would get our result as 1, 1, 1, 1, A, B, C, D. Because the columns in the delta 2 matrix that we have got and the columns of the delta 1 matrix are correspondingly same. Square B square, C square, D square and also A cube, B cube, C cube, D cube. Okay. So we need three inter uh, interchange of columns in that. Okay. Hello. Yeah. So you can see that uh, there is some network problem. Okay. So you can see that we need three uh, interchange of rows for this. Let's say if we interchanging no, not, not rows, these are columns. If we interchange C4 column with respect to C1, then we would get 1, 1, 1, 1 and A square, B square, C square, D square, A cube, B cube, C cube, D cube. And here it would, it would be A, B, C, D. Okay. Now what we need to get? We need to get this matrix. Because this is my delta 1 matrix. Okay. So now we will again exchange my C4 uh, column with my C2 column. So this would give me 1, 1, 1, 1. A square. Sorry, A, B, C, D. And this would be A square, B square, C square, D square. And this would be A cube, B cube, C cube, D cube. Okay. Then what we would do? we would exchange third column with the fourth column also. Okay, so that would be A square, B square, C square, D square and A cube, B cube, C cube, D cube. Okay, so we got our result. So we have made our total number of three interchange of rows. Okay, and we also know that whenever we interchange a row, then the determinant is multiplied by minus one. So it would be minus one's cube because we have done it three times. Okay, so we got that this is equals to minus of delta 1. Okay, so this equation is equals to minus of delta 1. Okay, so we have, what did we have? We have delta 1 plus delta 2 and we got that delta 2 is equals to minus delta 1. That is delta 1 minus delta 1 is equals to 0. Okay, so we got our determinant as 0 in this case. Okay. Now, similarly, there is also another case when we have, like, say that if there are some constituents of determinant of A, which involve polynomials, okay? So, if there is any polynomials in the determinant, at that time, we just need to form the factors of it that whether this polynomial is forming a factor or not, okay? You can just put the values in the polynomial. Let's say this is my determinant at this case, okay? which is, uh, let's say, just take an any you know, determinant, let's say x, a, 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 and a, x, a, a, okay? Where all the diagonal values are x's and all the other values are a. Okay, going on, this is an 
n order matrix a a a going to a now how will you solve this determinant okay so firstly what we will apply we will add all the columns to c1 okay that is c1 implies c1 c2 c3 to cn we will add the uh, add all these columns so that would be equals to x plus this is a matrix of n cross n right so that would be equal to x plus n minus 1 into a similarly this one which is x plus n minus 1 into a okay because all the diagonal elements are x's and all the other elements are a okay similarly x plus n minus 1 into a so this would be and all the other uh, positions would be same that is a x a and similarly a a going to a okay now i can take this out x plus n minus 1 into a so x plus n minus 1 into a this would be equal to all the positions here would be 1 1 1 1 1 and this would be a x going to a and other entries are a a going to x this is x this is x okay now what we will apply i will subtract all the rows from the first row okay that is i am applying r i r i minus r1 where my i is going from 2 3 to n that is from i am subtracting subtracting all the rows that is r2 r3 r4 going on to r n from r1 so i will get x plus n minus 1 into a and 1 a a going to a that is that will be 0 this would be x minus a and all the corresponding entries would be 0 similarly here it would be 1 minus 1 0 and here all the diagonal elements are x's so they are going to be x minus a and all the other elements are a's only so they will they will go to 0 0 x minus a to 0 similarly this would be 0 0 0 and this is x minus a okay so we we have got x plus n minus 1 into a and if these are all the diagonal elements if i take out the determinant of it okay so we are taking the determinant not the matrix okay if we take out the determinant of this this will be the product of the diagonal elements as we have said that in the upper triangular or lower triangular elements in the upper triangular and lower triangular matrices the determinant is equals to the product of the diagonal elements so the determinant of them would be equal to x minus a power n minus 1 because this element is 1 so there would be n minus 1 x minus a okay so that is equal to this is my determinant here in this case i got my determinant which is x plus n minus 1 into a okay understood so that's all about the determinant i think that was uh, uh, the all the things in the determinant you can find out the determinant for any matrix with the help of some op operations and with the help of some little logic okay uh, so i was talking about the polynomial let, let me just complete that thing that if those constituents of determinant of a involves x okay and these x are polynomials let's say these x are polynomials in x then you can check that if I put x is equals to a or any value, then whether my e, um, any column or any matrix is getting zero. That is, if my e, any column is vanishing. So if that is so, then you can just uh, put x minus a, which is a factor of a. Okay, and by the help of it, you can solve the determinant. Okay. Okay, so that's enough for the, this determinant part. Let's meet in another lecture. Uh, thank you for this lecture.